guys, welcome back to the question and answer series for the month of April. And man, did we wait until the last minute for this one, but it's here. I know, I know. Okay, so um, moving on, this question is kind of a, re a refreshing question, and I think it's refreshing because uh, quite often the people that we get on this channel who come visit us, you guys are... You know, I would say most of you guys are beginners. You guys have a good base understanding and sometimes a little bit more uh, when it comes to um, training and nutrition. So I think this is kind of kind of a beginner question or at least a, a beginner question for uh, it's most likely from someone who's just recently started uh, using a uh, maybe a flexible dieting if it fits your macros. Uh, type of setup. So the question is about fiber and uh, I'll read the question just to make sure we don't miss anything and the question is how would you calculate a food into your macros that has a lot of fiber for example a quest bar say a standard one is 5 grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, 16 fiber and 20 protein. It says total calories are 170 but if you add them all up that is not the case. So how would you personally track that? specifically the carbs. I've heard many things, but I want an answer from an expert. All right, guys. Um, so I think first things first, um, I think this person is probably a little bit too focused on the fact that one meal um, uh, has a crap ton of fiber. And, you know, that to me isn't really too much of a concern. I don't I wouldn't say that for a meal that's about 200 calories, I would say that 16 grams of fiber is, is quite a bit. But uh, my, I'm not too concerned with the fact that you're having this much fiber in one sitting, usually. But the fact that it's coming from a, a, a protein bar, a Quest bar, and I should have researched what, what, what kind of fiber um, they stuff into that little tiny Quest bar. Uh, but quite often what happens with these these dieting foods, the, these uh, these uh, low carb friendly foods, is that they they stuff things in there that aren't necessarily very gentle on, on your GI tract. So that would be my number one concern there. Not so much the fact that you're having 16 grams of fiber in, in one meal. Um, one thing about the whole flexible dieting is that we tend to focus more so on what happens uh, within a 24 hour window. So. Um, you know your meals aren't necessarily symmetrical throughout the day so not too much of a concern uh, there because you're having 16 grams of fiber in one meal uh, but more so I just I'm really curious as to what they stuff that thing with um, so is it rough fiber uh, is there alcohol sugars in that thing uh, those would be my biggest concerns so when it comes to dietary fiber I think uh, and, and I think one of the things that really really uh, leads to this misconception is that there's so much leeway out there when it comes to, to food labeling and what they get away with and I think we've been we've, we've gone over this in, in another video and the fact that you know they get to round things up and uh, if things are under five calories they get to round things down so uh, you know they get to put in things in, in, in their labels or at least around the product that, that says net carbs, you know, and usually what they do to figure out net carbs is that they subtract the total amount of carbs and the fiber, and that is according to these people how many grams of, of, of carbs uh, there is in this product, and, and it's insisting that there's no calories in, 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 in dietary fiber when the truth is, well, that isn't the truth. It, the truth is that you, in dietary fiber, depending on what kind of fiber, anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 calories per, per gram, which is certainly not four the way you would find in, a, in um, any other carbohydrate, but it's certainly not calorie-free food. So what I would suggest you do here, rather than sitting down and breaking down at the end of the day just how much of, of this kind of fiber you had, how much of that kind of fiber you had, and trying to figure out uh, how many calories you actually consumed, I think a much more sensible and practical practical way of going about this is just having a, um, just how you have a, a fat quota for the day, a carb quota, and a protein quota, have a fiber quota. And a good place to start <coughs> is um, anywhere from 10 to 15 
um, grams of, of fiber per 1,000 calories uh, uh, eaten. So, you know, if you're on 4,000 calories, big guy in the middle of his off season, then, you know, 40-ish grams of fiber is, is, is a pretty good place to be. If you're on 2,000, then obviously you can cut that in half. Uh, of course, I, I will certainly give uh, those folks who are dieting the benefit of the doubt and certainly be okay with, with ha them having a little bit more fiber um, simply because it makes, besides keeping you regular in a time where you're certainly not taking in as, as, much, um, uh, as much bulk uh, throughout a whole day, it really helps you uh, better tolerate a diet. So if I was dieting, I don't think I would be having this orange juice right now. I'd probably go with something uh, like an apple because that, that, uh, the fiber in that apple will, will definitely help slow things down and, and, uh, and help with uh, that ever-elusive satiety when we're dieting. So yes, in, in, a, in a nutshell, to wrap this up, fiber, it's, it's not free of calories. It's definitely not for calories per gram the way you would find with, with uh, any other carbohydrate. But I don't think um, we should really get to the point where we're really trying to figure out uh, uh, how to uh, split a hair into, into eight pieces. I think so long as you're being consistent with your fiber intake, uh, you're not necessarily missing out on, on uh, or, or, or uh, giving your competitors the edge here. So. So and this is mostly for my uh, my my, uh, my freak uh, competitive bodybuilders that will quite often do anything to get the, get an edge on the competition. So so yeah, just keep track of your macros. Be consistent with your fiber, uh, but certainly don't uh, consume it like it's like it's free calories. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, last uh, last uh, last video for this month's question and answer series, uh, and. Uh, the proposal video should be coming up real soon. A really cool bonus question for you guys. I think you guys will get a kick out of this just because um, uh, it's something that I always wondered and I found out. So just stay tuned for that one. Thank you very much, guys. Awesome questions. Thank you for voting this one up because I'm pretty sure the, the person who, uh, who uh, inquired about this was, was really, really wondering about that. And um, with all the crap they're allowed to get away with, when it comes to food labeling, there's, there's no wonder why. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll be talking to you guys uh, soon in that proposal video.